Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you're watching me from, good evening, welcome on board. Please help me to share this show, especially for women. You're all welcome. Please help me to share this show. And I will be sharing it myself. I hope I will see it here so that I can share it. Good afternoon, good evening. Welcome on board to Prevailing Issues with Ajoke. And your host is Ajoke. Please help me to share. Um, Like you know, uh, we do our program mostly on Ninja Styles and Beauty Tips. But like I said, most of this Prevailing Issues we always discuss it here because it is prevailing at this point in time. Um, so I'm just looking for it to share. Uh, you can see what I've written out there. It's about um, suicidal rates amongst women in Nigeria. It's increasing daily the way we see it now. In the olden days, we had no such high number of suicide in Nigeria. I'm not going to be too gender specific because it's really happening among everyone here in Nigeria now. I don't know why it's not coming up here that, you know, I've started. Okay, yeah, it's coming up now. So that I can share and then we start properly. Yes. Oh, sorry. So, um, we welcome on board, everybody. Please help me to share this program. It's very important. It's it's going to be a short one, um, so that we don't over flood it. I will have come out yesterday when this um incident happened, um, but I said, you know, I just feel um I don't want to be insensitive about the news. We've heard about the news of this young lady, 36 years old, beautiful, um, gorgeous mother. I'm using that, uh, sis. I'm using that to do my program. Beautiful mother of two. You're welcome, please. If you know that you're listening to me, you're hearing me, please let me know, thumb up and, you know, comment and talk on this. Now, we heard about this young lady that, um, took a life, allegedly took a life uh, in Nigeria um, two days ago and she was buried yesterday. This young lady happens to be um, uh, a royal, uh, from a royal home, Ojora family. Like I said, I will have come out yesterday to talk about it because even before yesterday, I sat down and I was thinking about Bimbo. If you remember Bimbo, you know, the lady that died some months ago, um, the IV, I, I, IV wife or somebody, you know, in Lekki, the lady that burnt herself in Jokotade, I can see you, sis, welcome on board. The lady that burnt herself, you know, in Lekki because of domestic abuse and drug related and all sort of things that was happening in that family. Now, I was thinking about her about two days ago and I was like, oh, this is how people will forget you when things like this happens, you know. you She's gone and it seems that just all the noise was just about for one week and we all forgot about Bimbo, if we remember that lady in Lekki that killed herself. Now, um, I thought about it, I was thinking about it and then I heard this news yesterday. It was my sister, you know, I was just talking to my sister and, and she said um, the rates at which ladies are now taking their lives. And I'm like, oh, you know, because I had, I read one lady that uh, she just got engaged and she was just going in a taxi and she asked the Uber man to stop and she jumped down from the, um, the taxi, uh, the Uber and went straight into the river and she died. She committed suicide. That was what we heard. Now, going forward, 
I now told my sister about it. That, oh, that lady, what could have happened, you know, for her to take her own life just like that? A young girl that she just got engaged. What could be the problem? They said the taxi man, the Uber man said he overheard her speaking with somebody which he thought was the fiancé. Anyway, that's just questionable anyway because I don't know how that one is true. Now she said, no, that's not what I'm talking about. Have you not read about this girl, you know, that just took a life in Gislova? That if I go to Gislova, I'm going to read that. Dele Sonny, that's my sister that told me about it. And I was like, ah, Gislova, okay, let me go and read. Behold, this is somebody that I, I, I happen to know somebody in that family. Um, Ojora family is a big family that you don't, you, you cannot, it's, it's you know, it's a royal family. I want more bani. Mm -hmm. She was a princess. And then I read that, you know, this young lady had been asked by her husband to relocate to the UK. This is a young lady that just had a baby. Two months old baby that she had. Just so, two months old baby. She has that. And then the husband said, you know the way Nigeria is. Um, the husband happens to work with Governor Sonwolu as a chief of um, security chief or something like that. So he happens to work. His name is Aide. He works with Governor Sonwolu. He has always been in politics. He has worked with um, Governor Ashiwaju Ahmed Tinubu while Ashila, Ashiwaju was there. So he is now the chief of uh, staff, uh, chief of security or something, staff, chief of staff for security or whatever that they call it. I'm going to check it very well so that I'll be, you know, um, specific in what I'm saying. Now, this is a man that called his wife and said, look, why don't you relocate abroad? Please, can you um, help me to comment, you know, give me emojis. Let me know that people are watching and listening to me so that I will know you're, you know, getting it um, audible enough and you can understand what I'm saying so that we just make it more interactive because this has to do with women. A lot of women are going through domestic violence in a way that we don't know. Most women are messing up with the mental health because of marriage and relationship now going forward this welcome to new uh ebony thank you for commenting thank you for being the first to comment please everybody help me to comment buy me stars make it interactive so that we can all learn from each other don't let me be the only one speaking and that's why i have my phone number there by the time we talk about this you can call in and then we can make it more interactive do you understand? That's why I'm using this platform where we all can come together and, you know, reason like women and men too can call, call in to teach us one or two things. Thank you so much, Dele Sonny, my sister. You, 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 um, you gave me this uh, story to go and look at, you know, you entered me about it and I went to read it. And then, like I said, behold, I found out that, you know, this person is from a royal family and I'm I'm close to one of the you know um family members there you know is my friend now um this is a person that just had a baby two months ago and the husband called like most men or most homes in Nigeria now we know the Nigerian situation when it comes to security of lives and property when your man calls you and sits you down and say look I think for the sake of our children, for the betterment of our children, their education, and the way Nigeria is going, if anyone has an opportunity to travel out, of course, they will, for security's sake, mostly. And for that kind of a person, this is somebody that is in politics, is in government, in Nigeria, in Lagos states, as chief of staff. So you can imagine when you sit your wife down, naturally she will say, of course, I'll take that upon myself to say, yeah, for the sake of my children, for security's sake, for everything, let's move abroad. 
forget about them being politicians or being in government. Most people now, for the fear of unknown in Nigeria, are traveling out. We can see the Japa movement that is going on. Everybody is moving away. But if your man is quite good, it's okay in Nigeria. As in, you know, when I say financially stable, having a good job or business that is doing very well, the man might, the man might not relocate with you. You will be the only one that the man will say, okay, take the children and move abroad. Most which ones do it for the sake of the children? Thank you very much. I want me daily sunny. Thank you. My admin is back. My daily sunny. Comment, comment, like, like, comment, comment, like, like, and share. Now, most of them will say, okay, why don't we, you know, think about it for the future of our children? Thank you, Oshodipe Adewale. For the sake of our children, why don't we move, you know, move the children and yourself abroad? Every woman will accept it. Most women will accept it. For the sake of the children. I've got friends that have done that. I've got friends that are still looking up to that. If they have the opportunity, they want to do it. I moved in with my family years back to, the, um, to Dublin. I came to have a child and I decided to stay there, bring my other children in, for the sake of their future. And here we are today. We are well established in the country. What am I saying? That most people, once they have the opportunity to leave that country, they will come abroad. I know a lot of people have blamed some women leaving their homes for the sake of the children. We tend to blame the women. I'm coming to that. Now, this young girl that we're talking about, her husband called her. She just had a baby, two months old baby, and said, look, this lady is 30, 36 years, she was 36 years old. The man, 58 years old. See the age difference? That's not where we're going. This lady accepted with the husband and said, okay, for the sake of our lives, let's move abroad. But the man has a job in Nigeria, like I said, has a career in Nigeria, like I said. He, he is in politics in Nigeria and is in government in Nigeria. She decided to come after having the child to stay here, living at home, and her husband at home, just a husband. She had one child, she had uh, she had two children. That one child and then the, the little baby she just had, making two children, two months old baby. She moved abroad with those children, leaving the man alone at home. Now, the story is this. This man, the Ainde man, we're going to read this lover because I read it from there. So that it would not be like it's a joker that is giving you the story. Because all these are still allegations. The family has not made a statement concerning her committing suicide. But rumor has it, it's been alleged that she took her life. What Lagos State Government wrote there is that... Uh, she died after brief illness. But that has been debunked by Gislova, who brought the story out. Now, he said this man has been having a relationship, a sexual relationship with his secretary. They work together and the wife caught them once. One thing I want us to know you cannot change a cheat. Most women tend to feel that we can change them. No. It is difficult to change an habit in somebody. If somebody, you know, is a drunk 
or somebody that has been smoking for a long time. Over time, maybe if you talk to them, they seek help, you know, allegedly, or more maybe that's it. You know, you tend to, you can speak to them, you can do, there are certain things that, you know, you can change in somebody. A womanizer or a flirt, it is very difficult to change them. It's an habit that has been in them for a very long time. It's an habit that has been in them for a very long time. She made the greatest mistake. If it is true, she took her life because of an illicit affair a man is having. My dear, we'll talk about that. It's Evelyn. You are right, but we'll talk about that. When a lady's mental health has been damaged, it's difficult to think right. It is very, very difficult to think right. Now, she agreed with him and moved. And then this man had an affair, like I said, had an affair with his secretary, which according to what we read, the wife got to know. And before, you know, that was when she was in Nigeria living with the man. The way we, we catch them, you know what I mean when you catch them? They will beg you. They would cry. Some would cry. Some would prostrate and beg you. This would be the end of it. Never, never. You never see me with her again. No, Lord, my Jay is the devil. Is this? Is that? She agreed and believed her husband. That you know, we don't know. Maybe if he does things like that and she catches him, he stops. Some men. Once you catch them with one girl, they will never get, go back to that girl. That is respect the thing they have for you. But they will never, never go back to that girl. And we are June, you're welcome. They will never go back to that girl. So, obviously, maybe the man has always been that kind of a man that once um, Doi catches me with this, all over. According to what we read, he begs her and they forgot about it. Believing that the relationship was already off. She felt she had a husband back. Of course, when you're leaving Nigeria, you're not leaving and be thinking, oh, I hope he's not going to marry another person. And, and it, it depends on the relationship. It depends on the promises this man will make. We've gone through it before. They will make promises they will do everything. It is only God that can keep such marriage intact. Believe me, when it comes to Nigeria, oh, it is that's why I'm making this particular video for Nigerians. Because this is where I'm coming from. And because I've been through it before, I know what it is. It's only the grace of God that can keep a marriage you have left to look after your children abroad. It takes the grace of God. It takes a good man to stay humble and stay single there. Now, this lady, they said, according to what we read, now got to know, you know, just two months abroad, they called her. If you know Alausa, for people that have worked in Alausa before or worked in Nigeria or live in Lagos, lived in Lagos before or are living in Lagos, you know how it is in Alausa ministry. They have different pastors there. It is not uncommon that we see even married women having affairs there. I'm not sorry to say that's the truth because it is like um, the norm they all do it there. So like this man, of course, like I said, they work together with the girl, the I know girl. She got the gist from Alausa where her husband works and the girl works there, you know, the ministry there. She has become a PA to the government, uh, to the governor of the states. 
it goes to show you how close she is in Sowo or loose cabinets with Ainde, the husband of the late Doin Ojora. Now, um, going forward, she got the hint from Bebomus. We, like we online in-laws, the way we do I'm a boy here. People called her from Alausa. And that's what they do, no? In fact, those that called her might even be the man's girlfriends too that are competing with this Elese chicken. Might be. You know the way they are. They are all competing with the man. Competing for the man, sorry. So they called her and said, Look, hmm, your husband, do, that girl, you know, I know, has moved into your home. Hmm. Do you remember that story? There was a time that this one broke out. The lady that moved into the man's house in, in Nigeria, Magodo, that the wife now left America and came back to meet her at home. And she was still fighting the owner of the house. That's the madam, the legal wife. If not that that woman, you know, had all the papers. Fausta Talabisi said, it's, in fact, it's not easy to cope with such man. Most especially if the man is a bullying type. Thank you, ma. Now, you remember that time that the woman came from US and came, if not that she, you know, she herself has all her papers to hand. This side chick wanted to take her husband, wanted to take the property, wanted to take over everything. And this is the sweat of both husband and wife. But because of the fact that the man came to Nigeria, you saw a single man. This one, they came from abroad. You saw a single man in a big in a big house. You moved in there and you decided to be the side chick. You decided to be the mistress. And she wanted to take over the house. Thank God that the woman had all her papers at hand. And she was able to fight. She fought to the last. Even the woman, the side chick was fighting like, I'm not going anywhere. This is my, my, my husband's house. I'm, uh, uh. You would think, Emma Bamike. I don't need I don't need Now, going forward. Um, the lady got to hear about the rumors and how this lady has moved into her house. She quickly took a flight. Left two months old baby in the UK and went to Nigeria. On getting to the same house that she was living two months ago with her husband, she was not allowed to come into the house according to what we read. I'm going to read it so that I am not the one, you know, conveying the message. I read it and, I, and I'm going to read it for us to know where it's coming from. Now, they said, she got to the house. You can imagine you living at home two months ago, not even up to a year. And the man has already brought in another woman. It's not as if you had a fight. There was no fight. There was no quarrel. You are supposed to go and build a family out there abroad and look after the children to give them a better life. This is an agreement between the two of you. I know we talk about um, Messi Aibé. Sorry to use that as an example. Because exactly what happened to Messiah, this husband, the new husband, that, that's the husband now, the present husband. Exactly what happened to Funsho and her husband, Adikaz. Like the woman relocated 
with her husband to Nigeria and the children. Feeling that, okay, we've made a little money. Let's go and invest in Nigeria. And after some time, the wife felt and the, the husband got broke and the husband asked her to go back abroad with her children and stay with the children, give them the education that they've been used to because they've lived their life all in, in the U.S. And then coming back, before she knew what was going on, the story is that Messi Aibe has moved in as a wife. Now, I'm just using that. I'm just digressing a little bit. Just to say, okay, I feel what we are warning. Me will feel bite in your conjure. Now, the wife was not allowed to come in. She came in and the husband said, no, because you did not inform me you were coming. Ladies in here, I want us to say something. How would you feel living home barely two months and just going back home, you heard that your husband is cheating on you? I can do it. I don't know if some women will say, ah, me, I cannot do it. I can do it. My love, I want to go home and see by myself if I have the opportunity to go. Like, of course, two months, she has um, a, 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 a visa is still valid. You can imagine if she doesn't have valid visa. That alone can even kill her without her killing herself. Because she has no means of going there. But this one has valid visa or she might even be a British. I don't know anything about her yet. Now she went and the husband did not allow her to go in. What could make a man be so wicked not to allow your woman that just had a baby, two months old baby, come into your home because you have another woman in the house? A lot of people are saying maybe he's trying to avoid trouble or whatever. Now, what we read. She left the scene and went straight to her friend's house in Magodo. And when she got there, she told her friend, you know, friends, calling family to let them know what, you know, she has seen in her husband's home. And they said, oh, don't worry, everything will be all right. They said, her friend, you know, talked to her, made her feel comfortable at home. Don't worry, everything will be all right. You know, we women supporting women. Don't worry, men are like that. Just cool down, relax here, yeah, I'll take care of you, I'll do this, we'll, we'll find a way to do things. Now she asked her friend to make her a cup of tea, according to what we read. And then the, the, the friend made her a cup of tea and then she was drinking and um, she asked her friend to please give her time to be by herself. You know, sometimes when you want to be by yourself, you want to think, you want to reflect and the friend feels, oh, maybe she just wants to have a a time. My time. And then the friend left her. Only a few minutes later, she called a friend that she was having tummy ache. And she told her friend that she bought Sniper on the way when she was coming to the friend's house. She called her family members to let them know that um, she has poisoned herself. Long story short, doing is no more with us. May a gentle soul rest in peace. 36 year old lady. Um, She died while, you know, maybe while she was being taken to the hospital or because all the family members came, her family, her immediate family came to take her away and all that. But she died at the end of the day. Um, like I said, I don't want to be the one telling you the story. I want us to read it so that we'll know where we're coming from. I'll show you the faces of the perpetrators. This is Doi, the late Doi. This is her husband 
and this is the side chick. Now, let's read the story. They said, how a Lagos chief of staff wife took sniper and killed herself over a side chick. And you know, Gislova, this is coming from Gislova. It's not from me. Hello, Tway Tway. I know Tayo Aide, chief of state, chief of staff of Lagos State. That's the man. It's not, it's not new. It's not a new face to all of us at Vaulen's headquarters. So definitely this man has always been a cheat, according to this lover. So this is not the first time this lover is staging a show or writing something about him. At a particular level in life of any man, with that level where he is, they tend to do it. You know what I mean. Now, this lover goes ahead. Sometimes back, I dragged him for embezzling Lagos State money and buying several uncomfortable houses in Ikeja and some other part of the country and also lavishing on women. Now, he has done the most. So, this lover was talking about him before of you know the way uh, people all the people in the in um, you know in politics the way they are stealing the money you know in government the way they are stealing money so he said he's been talking about him and then how he has been spending money on women Tayo Aide that's the husband Mr Tayo Aide I'm sorry sir this is reading from Just Lover they said you have been like that, that you are a womanizer. Tayo Aide has been dating his secretary, Alaba Ayoku, for a while now. Tayo Aide's housewife is Princess Doin Aide. That's a Doin that we said killed herself two days ago. She is one of the Ojora family princesses. Tayo uses Alaba Yoku's account to launder Lagos State's money and the evil they are both doing with the masses' money buying them together. Like I said, they work together with Lagos State. They are both in government. So like this lover alleged that you know, this Lady, yeah, this lady Tayo Alabayoku is the one laundering money for Mr. Aide. So you can imagine how close and tight they have been together. He, she used to be his personal, I mean, his secretary. One thing about Nigerian men, hmm? most you, most of them, they sleep with their secretaries. I'm not sorry to say. Most of them, I'm not saying all of them, most useless ones among them, they do it. Now, let's go forward. So, they are, she's been laundering money for him, according to this lover. In no time, after the campaign, Sawuolu made the side chick one of the senior special advisor with the help of Tayo Aide. So she, she was elevated from being a personal secretary to a personal assistant to the government, to the governor of the state. Are you getting it? Through the help of her boyfriend, Tayo Aide. Long story short, housewife Sha got pregnant got pregnant again and delivered some months back. Before you know it, side chick began pressure the Olori Buruku Tayo. That's the way he used, not me. I didn't call you Olori Buruku, sir. It's just lover that wrote it there and I have to read what he has written. He said the Olori Buruku Tayo, before we know it, 
the side chick pressured Tayo. Say she said one marry. That was how Tayo called his wife doing. Say he don't buy property for her for UK. Say make she relocate to UK for security reason. Because Nigeria is not safe again. Like I said earlier on, we know the situation in the country. We know that security wise, it is not, it's, it's more advisable for you to move out. Most especially somebody in government. So for her husband to have called her, she will not have an hint of him sending her away because of a woman. She would have thought it was a good intention for the sake of the family, the children, most especially. So, and he has bought her a property in the UK. To buy a property in the UK, no be my mind. So, of course, she's coming here to live comfortably. Say make she locate, go UK for security because Nigeria is not safe again. Now, so do you leave? Oh. Now, so reading, uh, this guy say, now so do you leave Nigeria? Oh. Before we open eye, close them. Alaba don't take over. This we are getting to doing in the UK that Alaba Ayoko is the latest first lady of Tayo. Ma is the time women love. Mumbo she said, Ma, it's time women love themselves more. No man is worth dying for. I can never die for any man. Life is too sweet. Thank you. Mumbo Isheoluwa. Hmm. We are going to talk about it. Self-love first. Self-love first. The moment we women wake up and think about ourselves first, we'll talk about it Why? when I finish this story. Now, she didn't believe, okay, she heard the news she didn't believe it as Tayo already vowed to leave Alaba the first time she caught him. Fian, she entered flight and landed in Lagos unannounced. She got to their matrimonial home and was denied entrance. Ah! How wicked can you be, Mr. Aide, if it is true? Because allegedly, Yinkwe, but if it is true, sir, this is the height of wickedness, height of irresponsibility on your part, if it is true. Now, bad enough that you have brought in another woman into your matrimonial home. And worse, for you not allowing her to come in, if it is true. Like I said, Alleging me, but if eventually the story is true, sir, and the side chick, this will get you. Honestly, two of you can never be the same again in life. If truly the story is factual. Unless, if it is not. But if the story we have written is factual, you're going for it. Nobody will kill you. Obonio parae. Obonio parae. Mwole pobo. Mwole pobo. Obonio parae. Obonio parae. And there's something called conscience. A real con. Conscience, a real con, will forever haunt you. A real con, your conscience will forever haunt the two of you. That is if truly the story is factual. Now, let's go forward. It was said that Alaba was not 
it was said that Alaba was not around and Tayo instructed them not to allow her in since she didn't announce her coming. Even the girlfriend was not even in at that time. But believe me, you can imagine how the side chick would have changed everything in the home to make it us. Of course, maybe all the pictures of doing has been taken down. I don't know. Probably. Maybe that was why he didn't allow her in. Maybe the whole thing, her pants, that Alaba's pants will have been spread everywhere. Her pata, her shoes, her bags, her bra bras, yeah, everything will have been in the house to indicate that definitely she lives there. Her adventure, that was why the man did not allow her in. Now, Tyler instructed them not to allow her in since she didn't announce her coming. She then left out, she left out of anger and head directly to her friend's house in Magudo, Nikke by name. So this lover is giving us names. It's not as if it's just saying it without giving a specific name. This has tag. This has receipt. There is somebody called Nikke who is Doi's friend that she went to her house according to this lover. So she went to Magodo in Nikke's house. When she got there, she explained all. <clears throat> now, look at them very well. I'm a for you and why she be want to buy my money low to according to Munchi. So that is the man in the middle. The late wife is the beautiful one, and the side chick is this one with a Jew bamba. Now, going forward, hmm. she extended all to her friend, and she told, and the friend told her to calm down. You know the way we women calm down. Hey, we seem to little okay, go. She broke me. Don't worry. We know how we're going to do it. Don't don't worry. I know how you feel. But umopoche be money. You just had a baby. Just cool down. Chill. We'll talk about this. You know. Don't worry. My friend is stress. You have a baby. You have a two month old baby. Anyway, a friend calmed her down. Not long after she told her friend she needs to take hot tea. The friend hurried to get it for her in the kitchen. Afterwards, she told the friend she needs to relax. And Nikke, that's a friend, that she should excuse her. So Nikke left her in the room unknowingly to Nikke, though he already got sniper on her way to Magodo. And it was kept in her bag. After Nikke left the room, do he mix sniper with the tea Nikke brought to her and drank. Then she started having serious stomachache. She took her phone and called her family, explained all that happened to them and how she took sniper. There is even a recording, but the family are refusing to release the recording. Long story short, a call was put through Nikkei to check her friend doing. On getting to her room, she was almost gone. The family also met them at Magodo and they all rushed her to the hospital, but she lost it. Now my anger, that's this lover says, now is own anger. Tayo Ainde is a senior pastor in MFM. I gave me the me by me. So this man in question is a senior pastor in mountain of fire. I be mountain and fire. He brought he brought her property. What about feeling? The man killed her. How can the man deny her entry into the house? Definitely. Hey, hey, definitely they died of the shock because she did not expect it, madman. Mm, thank you, ma. Some men are terrible. Now, Jesus says this man 
is mountain and fire. The mountain of fire. The pastor. A pastor. A pastor. Ah. Pastor Ainge. E de wanjo uko tatimi. Kala yi de wasi u lo shebe en si. E niya yi de wasi u. Because he's in the world. You, a pastor, allegedly took in a side chick into your matrimonial home, moved her in permanently or weekendly, whichever way. Now, your wife came back because she did not even, allow, let's even forget the fact that, you know, there was no woman in the house or you have nobody. But for the fact that your wife came unannounced, as a Christian that you call yourself, sir, as a Christian, why would you not allow your wife to come in because of the fact that she didn't tell you? Are you saying that uh, because the Bible says um, the man is the head of the family and we have to be submissive? So because of that, you did not allow her to come in or because of the lady Mountain of fire and ministry. I know you, the church doesn't take such nonsense. For the fact that he is a pastor, a mountain of fire. <laughs> Mumpo Isheluwa said, Ma, that was how my ex-husband came with a lady that looks like what I can't explain all the way from the US. Hmm. I cook for her morning and night. That gender called man is not worth dying for, honestly. Some men are terrible. The more we women understand, the better for us. Oh, a poor woman. Mumbo the Lord is your strength. You can imagine. This is your own experience. Now, you people that are following pastor's advice, what can this man, Pastor Ajayi, uh, Pastor Aide, what can you advise your followers of your church con congregation can you talk about and did you come to the pulpit and talk about infidelity you talk about um whatever in marriage how comfortable can you be if it is true i'm not judging you because it is not we don't know yes allegedly now the side chick was married with kids who left her husband with Tayo Aide. Who left her husband to be with Tayo Aide? <laughs> so she was married too. Like I said, when I started this program, I did you are welcome. Like I, when I started this program, I said, most women in Alausa, hmm? Most women in Alausa, hmm, they do it. Married women, they have extra marital affairs, mostly because of financial gain and position. You know, the ministry in Nigeria, you want to go higher, you know, definitely. You must, you know, romance the bed for the orgas up there. And then the monetary aspect of the financial aspect of it is that most of them, they live above their means. They live above their means. They invest in gold. They invest in clothing. They invest in party going. So they have to live up that standard. And how much are they earning? So they've got no choice than to add the extramarital or cucumber thing into it. So she was married according to this lover. And she left her husband to be with 
Ainde? Who is in the government? Who has the money to throw? Who's got what it takes to be a man? According to her. And then, for the position, she needs him to get her to certain position in Alausa. That's one of it, how she became um, a personal, um, a, a PA, a Bikile Mangbe, Mangbe special advisor to the government. You know. So, let's go forward what he has written. It's not written. The side chick was married with kids, but left her husband to be with Ainde, Tayo Ainde. That's Lagos State Chief of Staff. Or to source there, Tayo Ainde is a Lagos State Chief of Staff. This is the second time Tayo Ainde is losing a wife. Hmm. His first wife died. Then he remarried. We don't know what killed the first wife. Okay? Remember, this man is a politician. Remember, this man is a politician. They said his first wife died. We don't know what killed the first wife. But they said she died. Now, then he remarried. The second wife had to run for her life when she saw all the signs. That one we located gay, gay, gay. So after marrying the first wife, that one died. We don't know what happened. But remember, he's a politician, but he's a pastor of MFM. So the wife died mysteriously. Whichever way, we don't know. Now, marry the second one. The second one, seeing the handwriting on the wall, took to her heel and relocated. I don't know if she has children for him or not, but he married her and she left him after a few years. So, the handwriting she saw on the wall, we don't know. Maybe... Per adventure, she felt, ah, this man's hands are not clean. Or, maybe she couldn't cope with his cheating habits. And coming out to paint himself as a Christian. Not as a Christian alone, as a pastor. Per adventure, she couldn't cope with pretense and lies that goes with Christianity. We have this pastor that's always, you know, in the news. Pastor Suleiman. Eh? Apostle Suleiman. He's an apostle of God. He controls a big church. A big congregation. They call him Papa. But what's, what's, what's all the story you hear about him? And what do you think the wife is staying with him with? She's standing by him. They must have something in common. If your husband is in the news all the time for the wrong, wrong reason, most especially women and ritualism, and you are with that man all the time, I'm not saying somebody should not protect a home when rumors come in, like people can just cook up stories, you know, when you're doing well in your um, in your ministry, people want to bring you down. It's a different thing. But when this is an occurrence of all the time, this man is in the news all the time. Definitely there's something. No woman will want a marriage like that. So, per adventure, this is why the second wife left. We don't know. But this lover said, allegedly ran away and relocated. Doyi is a third wife and she just had another baby 
for Tayo in September. How many months ago? She just had another baby in September. She had one before and she just had another baby. This lady was 36 years old. Hmm. That's two months ago. Doing's family and friends are saying the suicide is a spell because Alaba Ayoko is a known mamalawo. Ah, netu leo. One thing about we Africans, uh, we Nigerians, we Yorubas, um, don't let me elaborate it too much. Um, let me let me let me make it um specific with Yorubas. Now, mostly when things happen like that, we say Edini Assassini. Bugwa wata wa lori la ya bitama wu lita. Along with the Jaro Gui, dear, and you will want Sassy, and you will want Dia, and you will want Sassy, Luru called Jesu. I'm not saying that doesn't happen. It's called jazz, charm, jazz, voodoo, you know. And this voodoo, you know, according to what it does, it that is, is that it will make the woman, the person that they are using that voodoo for, to do things out of her will. That she will do unconsciously. They will take a conscious self, a spirit, they will control the spirit and send her to do things that she's not supposed to do. Just like um, suicidal thoughts, when somebody has um, a mental health issue, they will tell you that they're hearing voices, hallucination, we call it. They're hearing voices that tells them to do certain things. The voice sometimes will tell them, go and kill somebody, go and stab somebody, jump into this, do this or do that. Hallucination, they hear voices. Now, in Yoruba's um, voodoo perspective, it's like sending a spirit into that being for the, the, the evil spirit to control the mind of the victim to do something that is not a wish or is wish, whichever way it is. So the family are saying that this Alaba, that's the side chick, of course, is Mama Lawu, that she's known to use voodoo. One thing about politicians is this. Most politicians' hands are not clean. In Nigeria, most politicians' hands are not clean, whether women or men. Because they want to have the position by all means, whichever way they can. So if you are not a Christian or a Muslim, a religious person that is very, very good in your prayers, that you can hold on to God, then definitely you are choosing the other way around, which is going to Babalawo and doing your jazz, afas, and all those things. So, this lover is alleging that this Alaba, the side chick, that it is believed that she used a jazz a voodoo to tell the housewife to go and kill herself. Like I said, it is not physical, it is spiritual. So they control the mind of their victims. So he's saying that she, that the Alabata side chick, definitely used voodoo to control, that's the word the family is saying, to control the mind of the deceased, to go and kill herself. Alaba Yoku is a known mamalawo that frequents all the known abalists. There are lots of matters arising. After Sonwo Olu, he calls him Sonwo Iku. That's what Gislova calls Sonwo Olu, but I'll call him Sonwo Olu. After Sonwo Olu is the guy Jagaban is planning to give Ona as governor. He said a total shame. Like you know in Lagos State, Ashiwagi Ahmed Sinumbu 
is Ifaiku, is regarded as Ifaiku, he determines who becomes your governor, whether we like it or not. I'm from Lagos State. And that is why you can see I'm not into politics. I don't want to get involved. Of course, we know how it goes. That's why if you bring anything political to my platform, just tell us what you want to do, whether you are obedient, whether you are not obedient, whether you are Ashiwagyu, anybody, you know, I can bring it and just talk about your, you know, what you want to do. Let's know your policies, talk about it. I don't care. But one thing we can always say for sure, Sinumbu determines who becomes who in Lagos State. Facts. Mm. Now, Sowolu is saying, I'm um, sorry, Jis Lover is alleging that Sowolu is the guy Jagaban is planning to give Una as governor. He wrote in capital letter, a total shame. A total shame. That, that means you cannot choose who you want as governor. It is one person that determines who becomes a Lagos State governor. Going forward, Doing will be buried 12. That was yesterday he wrote this. Doing will be buried at 12 p.m. Nigerian time today. Yes, yesterday, Doing was buried. I mean, tears, cries, grief in Lekki or Ikoyu, wherever. She was buried yesterday afternoon. The family of Tayo has taken over a two-month-old baby. The family of the husband has taken over a two-month-old baby. Side chick is currently hiding. GLB Nation is calling his people. This is Tayo Akimade Aide. He calls him the wandering prick. O call to yep e kon le moon in here ni we only one dream pick. Eh, but tobani yon one da ki alang ka tobale let's say let's say let's say to get chicken alang ka you will leave o kwani kani o koto yep si bit yo kin wo any we be left is ni wani o kwani de according to according to just lover he calls him one dream prick. You know, so Omo Ali is calling, um, is referring to the side chick as Omo Ali. Eh, no, he's calling Tayo Omo Ali Oloko Dagboru. Let me say that in English Oloko Dagboru means the bola that is scattering everywhere. There are some men that. They have no shame. They will sleep with your friend. They will sleep with your house help. They will sleep with your sister if care is not taken. Those are the people being referred to as Oloko Dagboru. That a man that has no shame. A man that there is nobody that you can trust him with. Such men keep your children away from them. That's the kind of men that will sleep with their stepchildren, stepdaughters. So he referring, he's referring to him as Oloko Dabo. What it means is that if that man goes into friends, sleeping with four, five friends together, and he will scatter them. He will destroy relationship in family. He will destroy relationship between friends. He will destroy relationship with anybody. Because he doesn't care where he puts that bola. Now, Omwale, Oloko Dagbo, na so so married women tie the chase. Even as a pastor. The said pastor Tayo sleeps with married women. So where are we going to? Where is this life going to? Where is the moral? Where is the Christianity? Where is our Bible? Where is our conscience? Where is God that we serve? When you, a man of God, that you are supposed to be the custodian of that Bible, of the word of God, 
if you are the man that this you are being referred to, you are being alleged to be sleeping with married women. You're sleeping with young girls is bad enough. Not to talk of married women. Sleeping with single ones is bad enough. Not to talk of married women. Now, he will give them money to leave their husbands. Is this lover, the faceless blogger, is saying that this Ainde gives them money to leave their husbands. If these ladies that they are living with a poor man, that maybe his salary is only 30,000 in a year, 30,000 monthly, or 20,000, and this Ainde to Bedani Buku Buku Lato the Lego States meets you and say, Look, what are you doing with that man? What are you doing with that forsaken man? Oh, more I can buy you as for like you. Now, so the woman will carry her load, come up for her husband's house. That's when the woman will be seeing everything bad in her husband's life. Even if the man is the best man in the whole world, when money don't enter high. When you see cash, when you see pampering, when you see overseas trips, Omo, that man in the house, you start seeing the bad sides of him. That's when a woman will say, ah, this man safe. He will just go have a money. To... She will start having excuses. They said, this is what this idea was doing with the women. He was going out with them. Taking them away from their husbands, you know, because when they see money, they forget the poor man. They start, you know, fighting at home. And of course, when your relationship starts breaking up at home, because you have somebody out there, anything can happen. When the man sees that you're not doing the right thing again, everything is changing about you. Of course, marriage goes scatter. And in day, when they outside, go see, they, you know, give you money. They help you hold the thing. Now, he said, you know, you give them money and they will leave their husband. The whole matter is asking us, asking you and I here. He's saying, the whole matter, whose fault is it? My audience, whose fault is this? How we saying it's doing? That feels, well, let me be an obedient wife. Let me be that Bible wife, a Christian that has to be submissive to her husband and her husband wishes. When my husband calls me, let's go abroad. Number one, because I'm, I, I want to respect him and respect his opinion and what the Bible says, I have to follow it. Then secondly, he has given me the reasons, cogent reasons, for me to leave the country. Because, of course, we know about kidnapping, high rate of kidnapping in Nigeria. High rate of insecurity in Nigeria. And the best of everything for the children that you can get here. And he's making you comfortable abroad. Is it her fault to have accepted? Or is it the fault of Aide? Because he is or the fault of the late Doyin. Because, okay, Doyin was a Muslim. Eh, but being a Muslim, you still have to respect your husband. That's what even the Quran says. Okowa, no long, when you're praying, you're doing your salat. When your husband calls you, he's the only one that you can leave your salat for and move. Do you understand? Apart from God. So she, being a Muslim, had to respect her husband's wishes and feelings. Whatever the husband says, she has to listen to it. Now, is it her fault to have listened to her husband being a Muslim or a Christian, wherever she was? Or because of the fact that she felt, look, I can get a better life for my children because my husband has said it. Or because of the fact that, yeah, the security in Nigeria is so bad and we don't know what they've experienced. Maybe if somebody close to them had been kidnapped before or anything. So she accepted. Is it her fault to have accepted? Or her fault knowing the kind of man she's married to? Or probably 
he has not been showing her who he really was. Like we said, she only caught him once with that same girl. So it could be, and this marriage is quite young. It's a new marriage. And she's a younger girl to the man. The man is 58. You can imagine Agbalagba. I'm still not, you know, it's still alleged, yo. But alleged, that one sorry. To ba jekbe alleged, yo. To ba ba jekbe to otone. That means at 58, if you cannot tole at 58, if you cannot tole, hey, Joe, I need to charge this. Uh, my battery is going down, you know, so I need to charge it. Sorry, give me one minute. If you cannot tole, if at that age, you know, you are unable to make your wife feel that, you know, this is who you are. Hmm? And being a Christian that you claim to be, you know, ah, you know, in fact, um, charge I, oh no, 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 I don't know what she enjoying today. Today, baby. Okay, that could be no more. She's all right. I'm going to see you back. Okay, okay. You know what it is now. Sorry, my lovely. Where am I been? I'm going to start in the land. So, Mr. In the day, Mr. In the day, Mr. In the day. Look, come and do. Sorry, you. So this lover is asking us, and I'm asking everyone, you know, he's not a young person, he's an old man, 58, to that girl. So do we even know if the girl had married her, uh, married him, for the fact that he's old, he's older than her, and he would be a better husband. Do you understand? Sometimes... Ladies will say, and we do believe that, that the older men do take care of women more than the younger ones. So could it be because of the age difference? Could it be that, you know, this lady married him because of his age and the age difference for her to have the best of husband in him? Because we believe that, yeah, look at uh, Shabi Okoya and Dadiwa. See how she's living her life. So probably the, the lady felt, yes, this man is somebody that, and he has seen a lot, somebody that she, he, she was a third wife. So she would have thought this man has enjoyed all his life. And now maybe it's time for him to just settle. Do you understand? And he's saying, whose fault is it? The late wife? With question mark. Is it the late wife? Or the Olori Buku husband, as he refers to him. Or the Olori Buku husband. Or the side chicken. Alaba, the side chicken. Is it a fault? To have moved into the home of a young girl that has just left the a matrimonial home to take care of her children abroad just within two months because according to what we heard what we read what is being alleged that she moved in immediately doing it left home it's asking us he said women should learn from this men should learn too was fault that's the question Whose fault? Every one of us watching. Whose fault is this? Whose fault is this? Now, let's now come back to marriage generally. And my own advice to women. Marriage generally. 
Sorry, 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 sorry. No, I just couldn't talk here. No, no, no. Yeah. The number to call in, please, is plus four four seven four six six two five seven three eight five plus four four seven four six six two five seven three eight five it's what's up what's up only plus four four seven four six six two five seven three eight five it is an interactive chat you can call in and let's know your minds let's know the advice to give women if they find themselves in this in this lady's shoes let's hear from men let them advise other men on how to go about in case they bring in a side chicken and the wife comes in what can they do could it be that you know Aide was perplexed he was caught unawares and he didn't know how to handle the case and that was why he didn't allow his wife in. Or because he was just being a wicked person. Because mostly, it could be confusion on his part. What am I going to tell her? She's coming into the house. She's seeing Alaba's picture on the frame. Her own picture is out of the way. The whole house has been turned upside down. Changed to another woman's home totally. Without fight, without anything. Whose fault is this? You can call in. But before then, while people are still looking for a way to call in or not, as a woman, my own advice is this. My own advice is this. A cheat, a man that has been known to be a cheat, will never change a cheat is a cheat even though they carry christianity proof for hate it's still going to be the same so if you have been you you have dated a man and you have noticed this in that man for christ's sake don't look at yourself as uh, being left out out of marriage and with desperation, you want to marry somebody even though you know who he is. Or because he has told you he can never do it again. You've caught him with your friend before. Hmm? You've caught him with your friend before. Even though, okay, let's assume you're married already. Yeah? You're married don't even let's look at uh, your married one. Let's look at we married ones. You're married. It's still, you can still salvage the situation when you're not married, when you're still dating. So it's just for you to know that, you know, when a man is a cheat, remember that he cannot change. Eh? It's in his veins. Burning. So for us married women, hmm? This man has slept with your friend before. This man has slept with your sister before. This man has slept with your... or maybe, Don't let us go to the extreme of sister. Okay. This man has slept with your house help before. Do you know how dangerous that kind of a man is? A man that has slept with your friend. A friend that you go in and out with. That comes into your bedroom. Mm? That you do everything, you put your ass, you bring, you know the way we women are. We bring out all our secrets to our women, to our friends. Your man has slept with one or two of them before. And has come to beg you, has given you gifts, has done everything to tell you that I will never do it again. And you keep forgiving because you don't want to go. Because of the children you say, or whatever. Mm, bravo. Some of us might be able to take it. Some of us might not take it. Hmm? Or a man that several hours help of yours, you have had 
to send them away because he has impregnated one or he has done this or he has done that before. Mm? That man is the man that you trust so much because he has bet, because he has told you he's changed and we tend to put all our hearts in such a man. Omo, you are going to mess up your mental health. The moment we women, I'm not saying we should not be submissive. I'm not saying in uh, marriage we should not have trust. But once trust is broken in any marriage, forget about it. Once trust is broken in a marriage, it's quite difficult to get back. Now, this man is such a man to what Bisuri Pantete to Sodoko Gidi. Ah! Omo Yami. Ah! You are in for a long time, no? God. May the soul of this woman May our soul rest in peace. Joy are your dunes. You're welcome. They can never change. <laughs> but they get better at their game. That's not even good. Better at their game. <laughs> good, okay. Better at their game. With strategies. Babala strategies to bad. Ah. <laughs> you are a woman. The way you are with your man out in the party is, 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 all life is looking at Bobo, you did on law on your own law, Tombo. And you have put that man on your head. Oh, my yami, come on, let me talk to you. Do you know where to put such a man? Here. Hmm? Here. Do you know why? Because if you put him here, when things like this happens, it's going to break you down totally. The worst of it is you having so much trust in any man. Always put it at the back of your mind that even the best of a man can change at any time. The best of a man can change at any time. Do you know why? That man you call the best of a man is because you have not seen, he has not seen money. That's the truth. The man that you see that is doing the perfect man is because he's got no money. When money is in that pocket, it's either you accept it the way it is. If you know you cannot, stop bringing red, please. God bless you, Joy Ayo. Hmm. Joy Ayo said, but you also have sisters, mothers and friends. Saying a man will always be a man. Just face your children. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. A man will always be a man. Forget about it. A man will always be a man. That's what I'm trying to say. Face your children. That's the truth. If you want to, you know, stay in that marriage, even at that where that man is. Mm -hmm. Face the children. First love is yourself. First love is yourself. Self-care. Mental health. Because this is you. If you are not well, like my sister said yesterday, if I'm not well, I cannot take care of you, my husband. If I'm not well, I cannot look after my children. If I'm not well, I cannot look after the home. So everything still bothers on me. So it is me, I, self, that I will have to love myself first. When you go into the plane and they are giving you instruction on the flights going, you know, when the flight wants to go, take off, they say, um, before you help anybody in case of, you know, um, 
crash or anything. They said before you help any anybody, the oxygen up there, use it for yourself first before your children. Why? Because by the time you are trying to do your children own first, your child's own first, and you you are not you are dying already. You are dying already because there's no oxygen in you, and you're dying. And then you are dying, your child is dying too. You have not helped yourself. You want to help others. I need to be well mentally, spiritually, physically, every way to look after you, my husband. So that is why I come first before you. That is why my children come first before you. I know people will always say eh, women are always very selfish. They say children first. Why? Because we women, then we have put you on our earth eh, and neglecting our children. We are paying for it dearly. Because by the time a man change, ah, you'll be looking like a big one a big one You know, you are like, is it not this person? I'm not saying you should not respect your husband. I'm not saying you should not love your husband. I'm not saying you should not be faithful to your husband. Once the trust has been broken, be careful of that man. Don't make that man your priority. Make yourself the priority. Make yourself the priority. What, what, what causes depression? What causes it? What's the cause of depression? In man or woman, anyway. It's things like this. Domestic violence, I do say. Emotional wound. Or whatever abuse it goes on in the house. It messes up our brains. And once the brain is sick, the whole, you, your whole part, you are sick. Physical health, you can still you know, manage it very well. You can still come back. When you have malaria, you can treat it. You go to hospital. You have uh, diabetes. They give you medication to maintain yourself. Once your mental health is messed up, even when you're on medication, they are taking care of you. Anytime you do anything, they will say, can you tell and see? Even when you know you are well. To bury you, you when you ah, She's laughing too much. You know she, you know she has cons con. If you are quiet, they will say, Oh, what you see? see? You must show. You might do Don't go near her. She, you know she has cons con. So whatever, once it's messed up, it is totally messed up for life. People don't reckon that you, you get well. You know, mentally. They will still stigmatize you as an ill health person up here to avoid that is looking after yourself look after yourself as if you are going out of circulation ah somebody sent me a message i can see your message i can see your message you said Good evening, Auntie Ajoke. Oh, let me pick this. Oh, sorry. Hello? Hello, ma. Mo lori line, no. Mo ba lori show. Okay, ma. Share that Okay, okay. Eh, ekpo mi later. Okay. Um. What am I saying? Sorry. Somebody sent a message. He said, Good evening, Auntie Ajoke. Guess your day was good. This so-called man is like that. He can carry women for Africa. Aye, me o. One Mr. Inde, one in one phone in your That this man that we are talking, that we are calling a pastor in MFM, that is a born flex. That's the way he supported rookie yachts at Oni Bung. Oni bon go C L C D A. Oni bon, oni bon. Mi mo kotoni jebe o. Oni bon go. Okay, oni bon go. 
That's the way he supported Wookie Yat as Onigongbo CDA to become a chairman. Wow. If not with the help of Baba Jagaban, he will have removed the chairman. You see all these people, they are the one turning Nigeria upside down. But I believe they will never go unpunished. So this is a man that will even use his position to, to impose a chairman. They said he helped one rookie yard. And I'm sure that rookie yard will be in her husband's homo to become a chairman in Onigongbo. And see rookie yard, money, eh, one let you know, help you condition money, eh, she did chairman Onigongbo. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for the contribution. So, this goes to show us that this man, and if you have one show, what you want to show, Kilele? Iran you ex on his in law dot for allegedly for doing on do ah emi o money o ashe my boy any now as we are saying what to get here on the way from me I just can't believe it no as we are saying hmm the I want Akim said the betrayer is always from people close to you sleeping with your husband and pretending to be your bestie meanwhile. Sleeping with one's husband, they will be pretending to be so. Women are the Otarawa, women are the ones that we say we are saying women supporting women, but we are the, the real enemies of ourselves. Now, going forward, this is a man that you invest so much in. I read, um, what's that? Uh, Motayo uh, Brown, what's that lady that does, um, that does. Our view on TVC. She wrote something a few days ago. She said, every woman. Mm? She wrote out and said, every woman should plan exit routes in marriages. What does that mean? I've treated this case on Nigeria Styles and Beauty Tips before. This means that when you're going through domestic violence in a home, it's not easy to walk out like that. So many people, so many women are stuck in such toxic relationship because they have not planned for exit routes. You don't just stand up and leave the home because financially you have to think about it. Are you emotionally ready to leave? Looking after the children, have you planned anything for yourself? So there are ways you can plan your exit routes. It takes a long time. When you know this marriage cannot work again, is it different from um, this one? Is a, is different from marriages that are having issues that you can always see therapists for the two of you that you can work on troubled marriage. But violent and toxic marriage is quite different. So you need to plan ahead if you cannot cope. For that lady, Moriah Brown, yeah, Moriah Brown, for that lady to have written that, I am 100% something is going somewhere, wrong somewhere. It could be her own marriage or somebody close to her. 100%. Because it was not on her show. It was, it was just one random tweet. Most speakers, most bloggers, when they talk, they talk from experience. They talk from what they are going through at that point in time. They might use it that my friend, somebody, but sometimes it is what is eating you up that you talk about. Because it's your own experience. So, for we women, somebody saying, I'm saying, um, Man will always be a man because that's 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 who they are. Mm -hmm. That's who they are. Thank you, lying card this way, man. Share, 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 and buy all stars. That's who they are. So if you not, if you cannot control that man and you are fit enough mentally to stay in that marriage, then 
Put the man here. Look after your children because those are your tomorrow. If you die because of a man today, those children are the one you are punishing. Yesterday, I was reading through everything they said about doing. A lot of women condemned our action. That why would she kill herself? She must be insane. Sometimes betrayer can make you do things that like, how can somebody betray me to this extent? If you have given an act so much to a man or a woman, whichever way, you have loved with your heart. So he has not done anything wrong for loving, for trusting, for believing in that man. May our soul rest in peace. I still stand by her. She was betrayed by a man she loved. And at that point, you don't know what was going on on her mind. For people saying it could be juju, it could be voodoo, it could be anything. So people or imbos that are, you know, taking their lives because of that. Are we saying they use juju for them? So no. So that's why I'm not going to put my hypothesis on the juju thing. No. She was not herself. When people say, ah, me, I cannot do it. Oh, me, I can. It's because you have not been there. When things like that happens. At that point, you don't know what can happen to you. You don't know what action you can take. Don't ever say, I cannot do it. No. You don't know what you can do if it is you that this thing has happened to. Imagine coming to a home. A home that I call my home. And then somebody saying, I don't think you can come. It could be postnatal depression. Fine, make your house, man. And then meeting things like that. Do you understand? Because she's here alone, abroad. A lot of us went through postnatal de depression. Coming, you know, for the first time, having children here. We that we have been badgering the lay that everybody takes care of us. We come in here to have children on our own. Without husband, without anybody. You can imagine a woman being here with little baby. And then you are hearing stories of your husband Sleeping with this, sleeping with that. And then you have a baby. You cannot even travel. You cannot even because you don't even have a paper. You can imagine. So, anything like that. We build our resilience, you know, towards things like that. It's a difficult thing. I am telling you. But the moment we can build up that strength of knowing that will live and see the better tomorrow is better, is wiser than taking your life. For us other women that are alive, that we can still hear ourselves, that we can still listen and read, please, I beg of you, life is worth living than dying for a man. Than dying for a relationship. You've got every good things of life to look into. For you that have children. You've got beautiful children. Think about their future. Think about how your mother went through it. And she came out trifling. She's. You are the one taking care of her now. Your mother. She went through it with your father. But she's alive to eat the fruit of her labor now because she closed her eyes to certain things. She did not kill herself because your father was sleeping with every woman. She looks after you. She was seeing the beauty of life in you. That love 
Put it in your children, in what you love to see. Because if you die, that man will marry the person you are crying not for him not to marry. He will even marry more than that. I'm going to treat Okoloin's wife tomorrow. See people talking down on that woman. The woman that just got married. Late Okoloin. They said her husband died three years ago. So she doesn't deserve that happiness. Orin Tai. Head is paining you people. That one is tomorrow. Whatever that makes you happy, go for it. Suicide is not an option for whoever, man or woman, going through issues. Suicide is not an option. Hold on, please. I hope it comes. Suicide is not an option. If you've lost your job as a man, you're going through anything, whatever you're going through, suicide should never, 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 never be an option. Look at the good things, the brighter side of life. Look at the brighter side of life. Few, few weeks ago, it was bimbo. Another lady jumped down. They said, we don't know that one has comma. And now this young, beautiful, energetic lady from a royal home cooking show nobody cooking show nobody the boardroom uh, boardroom um, boardroom you know man ojora otuba ojora that's the uncle boardroom guru that's the uncle from the ojora royal home she was a princess and it was not money. No. If my advice to women, if you know coming abroad will destroy your home, please stay with your husband in Nigeria. Oh. If this man calls you and say no, take your children abroad. Go and stay there. If you know that you don't trust that man and you know that it's either you choose your children's life, future, over that man, over your own, think about it. For a young couple just coming up, forget about our tatidaru boy. Hmm? For a young couple abroad, um, in Nigeria, if your man tells you, come and stay here with the children, my advice to you is either two of you relocate together with the children or you stay. And She was a cousin to me of you, you see. Or let's come together. We relocate together. It's not as if they cannot do it here. Don't get me wrong. They can, of course, they do. The man ugly, not be small or intimidating. Very ugly man. Sorry, ah, allergy. So we don't even know allergy. It might be no sir, but that, but but that indeed, allergy. I need that the media find you logo. That the media you know what to find you know. See your life. Kala in the lo she ensi mbuya makpari wo. I need that the fire wo me wo. I need that the share ano. I want to now wo share TV. I want to know in now share in the lo some go come see. You know? So, think about it. It's your choice. Choice to relocate abroad or choice to stay there. Choice for the, all of you to move here. Like I said, they do it here. But it can be monitored. They can be checkmated here. There's no way they can do it here that you will not know. Unless you just close your eyes and pretend you don't see. Are you telling me that you don't know when your man is texting and talking to a girl in your home? You think you don't, does he think you don't know? Or you don't know? You know. But there are certain things you just look, mm, you want to show. They are losing 
the trust. That's the truth. But at least you are together looking after the children. You are not the only one that has the full responsibility of taking care of the children here while he's uh, enjoying himself in Nigeria. No, I don't Except you are okay that you feel, mm, look, I don't even want him again. Because a man that you have left, because I don't have think they will tell you now, okay? you have left me. A man cannot eat by bread alone, but by all the guys and vegetable to Baba and town. You don't expect him to stay alone. They are lying, they can't stay alone. No? We women, we don't get aroused when we see a man, you know, like you just say, ah, I feel like making love with this man. No. It takes a very, very intimate thing for a woman to open up. When a woman starts dating outside her marriage, because she's added to this, except me, naturally you won't be more money. But a dedicated wife, a faithful wife, before she would decide, but look, I'm having an affair. Oh, it's baby by funny. If that's the only way to feel a couple, I don't know. Koma ya wiri. So whatever. Now it depends on you. My own is do not mess up your mental health. Don't let any man mess you up. Stand up as a woman. Respect him the way the Bible or the Quran has instructed you. Take care of him at home. Do your bits. If it is not a violent or toxic relationship, if you are able to cope with his cheatings, then stay there and carry your face come out. Omo boju. Omo look away. And look after yourself. Do what makes you happy. If it's going out with the girls called Dele, and Timmy Dele, get out town. Hey, John, in London. Move the girls out. Go and enjoy yourself. It doesn't mean that you have to cheat. No. Whatever that makes you happy, do it. Because Toba Dagba, they will leave you. Now, to you other women that are out there, I'm just begging us. Think about it. So by there, no uncle. Look, why you you left home to stay abroad with your children for better life? Alaba, and somebody does this to you. How would you feel? How would you feel? Think about it. Because whatsoever, if this allegation is true, I want you to know that you have blood on your hands. If it is true, if these allegations are true, you did not physically kill Dui, but you are responsible for her death and it will haunt you till you die. Me o shake me. I shed it. If it is true, it will haunt this man. Tyra indeed. If the allegation is true. Alleged me. But if it is true, you can never be the same again, sir. Because you have blood on your hands. If you had allowed doing to come into her matrimonial home. Maybe she wouldn't have died that way. Your conscience would not let you rest, sir. That's if it is true. You have killed a soul. A soul you did not bring to the world. You have ruined a soul. Your children's future. Because this is a woman that's supposed to, you know, lead them Teach them, nurture them. 
probably oh do i look like opera today oh thank you i have to be talking to she then you know thank you auntie Midili. do you understand so it's it, it is you let that conscience ask you the woman that's supposed to be breastfeeding a two months old baby what if that means even if she had come with the baby you would have left her out bola olale ye is terribly ugly in and out ah one ugly it has in you if it's true so even if she had come with the baby you would have still treated her that way definitely because you had made up your mind seeing her so the two of you you have a case with God. See along, it's here your ballet moon. Oh, along, would you wear that long? You have the, you know, connection in Nigeria. There's something they can't even hold you for it. There was one case that they did of recent here in the UK. The lady has been going through domestic violence, domestic abuse. For years. And just few months, about six months, the man beat her terribly that, you know, she he broke her bones and everything. So, the family said, because she never recovered from the beating. So, after a few months, about six months or so, she died. Dying, after dying, the, the family now sold the husband that, you know, he was responsible for the death of their child because they are their daughter because you know she, he's been beating her domestic violence physical assault on her all the time it was ruled, it was ruled that you know of course the judge faced the man and said of course you have been the family had sued you that you're responsible for the death mm -mm. that of course it might be that your 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 contributory factor to it but you are not going to be held responsible for the debts. Mm -hmm. Did you get that? And it was given only two and a half years to serve in prison. But the lady had already gone. But if she had left that relationship before then, would she have died? No. The man will not get only two years, two and a half years, and he will still come out. And live well here in the UK, just two and a half years because he was not caught killing her, or but it the, the beating led to her deaths. But that was few months after, so no matter what, they gave him only two and a half years. So, is it worth dying for? The man will come out. Who still marry another person who will live his own life, but she's gone. That's why I always tell you run away from domestic abuse, run away. The day he beats you once, he will always beat you again and again and again. Run away from an abuser. So that is that. Tayo and uh. A side chicken. They said um, Alaba allegedly left the home now. She's running elter skelter, hiding everywhere. Wherever you hide, you cannot hide from God. You cannot hide from God's judgments. You and the man. If it is true that the man did not allow his wife in because of you, you physically did not kill her. But you killed her emotionally. You killed the woman emotionally. Her husband killed her emotionally. Mm -hmm. Even physically because he did not allow her in. So two of you, let God judge you. So us women, please let's take care of ourselves. Take care of your children. I'm not saying you should not love your husband. Love your husband but with caution. Love with your senses. Love with intact sense. Don't love don't say love is blind. Love is not blind. Open it. Um, your glasses. Love is not blind. Unless you are trying to make it blind. Oh, 
Oh, you mean not Mori, Mori fair, Mori is your chef. Love is not blind. No. We are just being blind to obvious things. Love is not blind. I'll stop by saying this. They said the reason for suicide is depression. Mostly. There is a saying that, say, that says, if a bad marriage is troubling you mentally, staying in it will pain you 24 hours a day. That means all your life in that marriage, it's a bad marriage. If it is troubling you mentally, that you are not well, mm? you are not well mentally because of this bad marriage. Every day, 24 hours, you are worried. You are not yourself. That shifts you to depression. Mm? It says, but if you separate yourself from the atmosphere that that toxicity of marriage and reduce the suffering to either one hour a day or to none at all. You are emotionally well off. This explains low suicide in divorced men and women. What is it saying? That if you are in troubled marriage and every day is messing up with your mental health, 24 hours you are there, that means you are in that marriage, passion it up. It says you are killing yourself bit by bit. But if you leave such marriage for one hour a day, which means separation a bit from that toxic relationship, from that toxic marriage. Give yourself time out of the marriage. Healing will come along separation or distance. Thank you, Bola Olaleye. So just one hour a day will even help you emotionally, mentally, to, to wake up and get yourself. Because when you are separated from that toxic place, you are on your own. You can think right. You can, you can reflect on everything you've gone through. On how to do it better. But when you are there 24-7, you cannot get it. Never. You're going to die in that marriage. Emotionally with depression. So, if you need to separate, separate to get yourself well. If you need to divorce to save your life, to save the lives of your children, because you are staying in a marriage because of children, and your children are staying and living in that ugly marriage, your children cannot come out well. I'm sorry, because you are damaging them already. I've said that countless times. So, all of us here, I pray the Lord God be with us. God Almighty will heal the minds and the souls and the hearts of the, the, the victim's family. Because she has a family here. I pray the Ojoas, God will be with you. Forgive doing all um, sins and uh, Ajana Fidao for her in the mighty name of Jesus, I Allah, I pray that the children she has left, the two lovely children, God will see them through in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord Almighty will bring them to where their mother could not get to in the mighty name of Jesus. God will heal your hearts, all of you that are bleeding. Because your hearts are bleeding. Your hearts are bleeding. Um, Tayo, um, Tayo Okinonjeno, Tayo Aide has poked you, poked you with a knife in the heart. And God will heal your hearts. Yes. If allegedly, not but if it is true, 
he has hit that place very hard. God will heal your hearts. And for us women, men, men, please, treat us well. Give us that love. Bring that, even if you have done it before, please, revive the trust that woman has in you. A woman will make you the king if you make a, a, um, a queen. But if you make me, uh, if I make you my king and you want to make me yama yama, I will make you yama yama. My boju again, that is life. Because it's the way you treat her, she's going to bring you up like this. No woman pays for divorce. No woman pays to, to be rude. No woman pays to have a bad home. They are showing something on Twitter. They said, they said, um, they, they carried out the research and say, okay, do you want to, when you come back to life, do you want to marry this, your partner? A lot of women still vote, yes, I vote, but that man is the best man. But a lot of men, in fact, 80% of men said they pray they never marry such women again. Hmm? Do you know why? Because of their own behaviors towards that marriage. What have you brought in to that marriage? You have brought mistrust. You have brought cheating. A lot of things that you have brought into that marriage. And do you think it can get better? So the best way to heal any marriage is to please bring back that trust. You have uttered so many times, she's still reviving, she's trying to get over it, and you are doing it more and more and more, and you want her to forgive you, and you want her to trust you, you must be, something must be wrong with you. No woman trusts such men, no. She will just pretend, she doesn't trust you. She can never trust you. And then you're reducing the love bit by bit. And that's where the love shifts to the children. Because they are losing it in you. They will have to shift it to somewhere. So men, please. We love you. We appreciate you as the head of the family. Yes. We know it's the men's world. But please. Respect us. Respect us. Not by bringing women into your matrimonial home. That's not respect. Not by doing it while she's there. That's not respect. You want to talk to her? Let, don't let your wife even have an int. Some men are smart that you cannot catch them and they are doing it. I pray that the Lord will heal homes. Yes, we don't want broken homes. We want perfect home. I pray that the Lord will heal homes. Hmm. That's my prayer for us. Thank you very much, everyone, for listening with me, for contributing, for loving my program, for pressing love and like. Please, press love and like. And when you see this program, help me to buy stars. Eh? Because you have refused to buy stars now, but you can buy at any point in time. Thank you so, so much. Anytime we've got any gist, we always come here to gist. Yes, I said I'm on two weeks holiday and you will always see me daily i wanted to come out yesterday but i got tired i wanted to come and treat this case yesterday but it was just too and um, because she was just being buried yesterday but it's not only about her it's for us that we don't have to kill ourselves because of a man eh? know that there is life after all this rubbish you know just know control yourself control your inner mind pray that god gives you you know the strength to carry on when it happens, you know. Seek advices, good advice, okay, which advice will show Seek advice from older women. Talk to people, be with friends, let them help you out. Speak out. Some of us we don't know how to speak out. Speak out. You might be able to get help. Okay. Please, please don't die in silence. Speak out if you can. Thank you so much. I appreciate and love you. Have a lovely, lovely and see me, a bummy, daily. Thank you for coming today. I appreciate you. Love you all. And all my commenters, all my contributors, I love you. Have a lovely, lovely night. Ajoke loves you. Be good. Man, be good. Be good also. Have a lovely, lovely night. Bye.